Now, let's proceed to cash equivalents. So, your cash equivalents is defined under your past seven. Okay? It is defined under your past seven. So, what is a cash equivalent? It is a short-term, highly liquid investment. that are readily convertible to a known amount of cash. Readily convertible to a known amount of cash or sometimes into cash and so near their maturity that they present insignificant that they present in significant trees of changes in value. So it is a short-term, highly liquid investment that are readily convertible to a known amount of cash and so near their maturity that they present in significant trees of changes in value. So um, let's digest this particular definition. So first... It is short-term and highly liquid. Second, it is convertible to a known amount of cash. Third, near their maturity that the changes in value is insignificant. Okay, so the main three items so that we can say that your cash equivalent is part or your investment is part of cash equivalent is that it is short-term highly liquid, it's near their maturity, the changes in value is insignificant, and it is convertible to a known amount of cash. Remember, these three items refer to your investment, okay? Refer to your investment. So whenever we talk about your investment, therefore, you check whether it is short-term high liquid, it is convertible to a known amount of cash, and near their maturity. So whenever we talk about investments, there are two types of investments, right? So your investment can either be a debt investment or an equity investment. It is either a debt investment or an equity investment. So... If it is a debt investment, of course, it can be converted to a known amount of cash, right? A debt investment can be converted to a known amount of cash. Why? Because it has both maturity value and maturity date. Okay? A debt investment can be converted to a known amount of cash because it both have a maturity value and maturity date. How about an equity investment? Does it has or that it that does it have a maturity value and maturity date? No, an equity investment does not have a maturity value or a maturity date as a general rule. Therefore, whenever we talk about cash equivalents, it only pertains to debt investment. Whenever we talk about your uh cash equivalent, it only pertains to your debt investment. But take note, sabi nga natin, ang general rule lang ay yung equity investment, wala siyang maturity value or maturity date. Pero may exception dyan. May isang equity investment na may maturity value at maturity date. So ano yung uh, equity investment na may maturity value and maturity date? We call it your redeemable preference shares. Okay? Redeemable preference shares. So therefore, pag sinabi natin cash equivalent and we're talking about investment, dalawa lang pala ang laman niyan. Debt investment siya or redeemable preference siya. So, okay na tong second na requisite natin. Yung convertible to a known amount of cash. Ang next issue natin, ang next issue natin is yung short term and highly liquid and near their maturity, the changes in value is insignificant. So, number one and number three yung next issue natin dyan. 
So when can we say that the investment is short-term and highly liquid and near their maturity that the changes in value is insignificant? The answer here is that if it is purchased three months before its maturity. If it is purchased three months before maturity. So what is or how do you check it? So you need to look at to your maturity date, okay? Maturity date. And after you look into your maturity date, you look into your purchase date. From the date of purchase up to the maturity date, it must be three months. If it must be three months. So if ever it is not three months, it is not a cash equivalent. If ever it is within this, then it is a cash equivalent. So in layman's term, therefore, what is a cash equivalent? We said a cash equivalent is a debt investment or a redeemable preference share that is purchased three months before its maturity. So therefore, mga kaibigan, pagka hindi natin, hindi yan debt investment or hindi siya redeemable preference share. Hindi agad siya cash equivalent. E paano kung debt investment siya or redeemable preference share? Anong gagawin natin? I-check nyo from the date of purchase up to the date of maturity. Dapat 3 months yan. Sir, paano kung hindi 3 months? E di hindi uli siya cash equivalent. Kasi sabi natin, sakalang siya magiging cash equivalent kung yan siya. So, kung if a flowchart din natin siya, we need to determine our investment, right? So, if the investment is debt investment or redeemable preference share, if your answer here is yes, then you test it regarding the three-month period. If your answer is no, it is not a cash equivalent. If pasok siya sa three-month period, then it is again a cash equivalent. Pero pag hindi, hindi siya cash equivalent. Ulitin natin ha. Sabi natin under past 7, ang requisites ng ating cash equivalent ay, da, ay it is short term and highly liquid. It is convertible to a known amount of cash and it is near their maturity that the changes in value is insignificant. So ang first na pinag-usapan natin dito ay kailan siya convertible to a known amount of cash kapag ang investment ay debt investment or redeemable preference share. Ang next issue natin is, kailan siya short-term highly liquid and near their maturity? Kapag binili natin siya three months before its maturity. Therefore, how do we test it? You compare the purchase date to the maturity date. And look whether three months yung period na yon. So pag test natin siya, test nyo muna kung investment yan. Is it debt or redeemable preference share? If your answer is yes, you test it on the three-month rule. What is the three-month rule? That it is purchased three months before its maturity. Pag hindi siya debt investment or redeemable preference share, ano din siya? Hindi siya cash equivalent. Okay? Pero pag debt investment siya or redeemable preference share at pumasok sa three-month rule, cash equivalent. Pag hindi, not a cash equivalent. Sir, question. Kung hindi siya cash equivalent, ano siya? It can be part of your investment itself or it can be part of other items. But generally, it is part of your investment. Okay? It is part of your investment. So, madali lang tong cash equivalent. Ang ingatan lang ninyo dito dapat I-check nyo kung ano yung investment na yun. Pag hindi siya debt or hindi siya redeemable preference share, then hindi siya pwedeng maging cash equivalent. Ayan na, sinabi na natin yan. Ha? Kung hindi siya debt investment or redeemable preference share, it is not a cash equivalent. Pag debt investment siya or redeemable preference share, hindi naman agad-agad yan cash equivalent because you need to test it whether it is purchased three months before its maturity. If it is purchased three months before maturity, it is cash equivalent. If not, it is not cash equivalent. What happens whenever it is not a cash equivalent? It is part of your investment. So, ingat kayo dyan. I-add nyo siya sa total investment kung hindi siya cash equivalent. Pero kung cash equivalent siya, edi eh, ilagay nyo sa total ng cash and cash equivalents. Okay? So, that is for your cash equivalents.